Kumusta ka? Ang pangalan ko ay Angelberto Valenciano Jr. Ako ay taga Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. My very best friend in the whole wide world, Lila! Why in hell am I cutting a video here when it's so BC? BC on the Thornton Road. Bastos, de ba? Everybody's all business and everything. Business in the front and business in the back. Anyways, let's try this. Let's try this old school or semi old school. All right, folks. Today's lesson. I'm just gonna say that I uh, I knew that this was coming, and it's the shift, and it's something that I uh, been talking about for I don't know a better part of four or five years because I've been calling my team and my uh, following a certain terminology and now I see that this terminology is going to be tossed around left right and center not that I created this because obviously I got it from one of my uh, leaders good friends and mentors but I'm just gonna say that let's go let's go down history lane here guys a, le a bit of history lane in uh, we're going marketing like internet marketing style MLM online marketing space online like MLMers and biz oppers and all this kind of stuff. People that want freedom and find that the business model of using the internet and leveraging technologies is one of the easiest and best ways to, to start up a like a home style business rather than uh, turning your house rather than turning your house into a, into a, a store or doing like uh, selling your, your your goods and services out of the store and rather than uh, getting into real estate and rather than investment so those are the, the kind of the three biggies you either own your own business you get into real estate or you go investment and this is what I learned back in uh, 90 late late 90s early 2000s the other piece of the puzzle the, the fourth business model that's really formidable in this kind of economy is uh, internet style business e-commerce internet business and internet marketing style stuff honestly guys pick one of those four and run with it okay your own business which is probably the lowest because that's owning your own job really real estate obviously Donald Trump he knows what he's doing investments obviously like Warren Buffett and all those clowns uh, know how to do the investment sorry mr. Mercer I'm gonna I'll, I'll be right there with you with those two um, and then the final is internet just because you can deploy you can deploy anything at the speed of sound and speed of light okay so let's go through memory lane down internet marketing just to, just as an example and where I know where I see that this place is headed or where it's headed fuck it you know what just because it's noisy and whatever let's just we'll just we'll just cut the rest here and I hope this does do not fall if it falls then I have to jump the pants bastus let's put it over here okay guys this is the uh, this is the angel Valenciano quick version of what I've learned in internet marketing it started out really the easiest way back in the mid 90s late 90s early 2000s almost almost mid 2000 it was all about the quickest way to do it was either selling on eBay or like selling just selling goods and services quickly on on the net eBay Kijiji that, that kind of stuff well Kijiji, it wasn't even there but like just selling shit on the net Craigslist and eBay was basically basically one or affiliate marketing get an affiliate link get an email list market to the masses dog food golf swing get a lover dating speed dating whatever get a niche build a list around that niche and just sell them affiliate products that was the original push buttons like fucking <coughs> that was the original push button make millions online in a, in a day in your underwear the locking arms with us in the beaches of the world uh, that, that that came later anyway so affiliate marketing was number one it was king content even and then you use like uh, article marketing ar and article marketing and and uh, blogging and stuff like that was like it was king okay 
I'm not word of, no word of a lie. It's affiliate straight soup to nuts affiliate marketing was number one. Number two, in this certain space, taking online businesses, MLMs, network marketing, and things of that nature. Number two, Mike Dillard style, attraction marketing. Okay, it was all the MLMers, all the online business owners, all the, not even online, all the offline MLMers, network marketers, direct sellers, and all these kind of people, these people, this kind of business. Okay, what occurred was that all the people in the offline world doing the old school, and we can attest that there's still people doing this, so we, we can save them all, but they were doing the old potions, lotions, pills, come to my Amway seminar, let's go to Toronto, Let's all get dressed up and, and invite our five friends and, and go to the, the, the seminar, which is a whole big waste of time. Everybody's tired. They only sell so much coffee and um, whatever. And then you get like these billionaires on stage like preaching that they're the, they're the kings and uh, join my business. And then you, you go and hand out your thing. You got, try to get a fast start bonus and, and whatever. And then you, you kind of are, you make a couple sales for the first couple months. Then the auto ships become overwhelming and then you fail miserably. And it just, the, 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 the moonlight and the romanticism of the whole thing just kind of dies out just like that. Okay, so what happens is that there was a select few, I'm gonna say Mike Dillard, and then there was a few guerrilla style marketers like Jonathan Budd, uh, Dennis, uh, Katie Frayling, um, Maria Andros, and people of these nature, like they were fucking awesome. And my mentors, and like Jonathan Budd and Jason Shaver and Katie, uh, they mentored me in, in this old style. Did I, I was never successful with it. I just suck shit at it. But anyways, what they did, Mike Dillard kinda coined it, the attraction marketing. Okay, so back in the mid 2000s to 2006, 7, 8, no, even less than that. Let's go, uh, yeah, five, six, seven, seven, eight. We'll go around there, even 2009 maximum. This is when attraction marketing was hot, okay? Video marketing was like, it was birth. It was like the birth of that YouTube-ness and, and everything. Doing videos like this when you're freely walking around and people loved it. It, it. it made Jonathan Budd millions. It made Katie Freeling. Maria Andros is still the queen of video marketing. Um, and the guy who can attest it, that Filipino dude, Dennis from San Diego, he kind of kicked that whole thing off. But they really, they used the Mike Dillard uh, magnetic sponsoring and attraction marketing model, which is don't pitch, you don't pitch anything, you give, Uncle Frank, you give a lot of value and you just uh, get people to know, like, and trust you and then get them into your circle of influence and then you can say, hey, join my gig and then it works. Okay, so that, that was kind of like the 2009-ish swell of that, MySpace and all that kind of stuff. You make MySpace pages and uh, you get everyone in your circle of influence there. Okay, it's getting too loud. It's too loud now. You're messing up my video. Screw it, we'll just do it with the video here. So, so, um, the other, after that it became, now I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit because I'll just condense this, condense this into the two final ones that I've seen. The one was team marketing, okay, so it's attraction marketing, but then it's using a lot of your lifestyle, lifestyle marketing, and see this stuff is still, it's still the tools of the trade, guys. It still works. This is the shit that still works. So, attraction marketing plus team building and uh, lifestyle style like, uh, marketing and the team aspect of things. So when you have everybody on a hangout and you see a whole like uh, six, seven, eight people on a hangout and they're doing this team aspect and they all tell their sob stories of how like uh, <clears throat> a certain thing program saved their life, then that's cool, it's good, it works. A lot of people made millions doing this. And it's, it's still okay, it's still, it's really good. Because lifestyle marketing, storybook marketing, and and just showing your true authentic self is still, to me, the best way to hit home. To hit people right in the heart and, and for it to hit home. And then you say, hey, join my gig, and then people join. Okay, so, let's tidy it up here. That's kind of where every all of that was, uh, that, that's, that's how it was in the last couple, 2010, 11, 12, 13. That's all it was, okay? A lot of people copied that. <clears throat> 
that, 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 that model, there's a uh, team this, team that, da 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 this, and fucking inspired team of this, and, and, and bestest team of that. And everybody was team, 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 my fucking team, my massive attack team, my massive action team, you know, whatever. It kind of got sickening after a while. Now, back in 2007, when I started with the true empowered entrepreneurs, all right, and we even call it back then, even back then, the new economy or the U Inc. economy or shit like that, okay? This is 2007, folks. We called it empowered entrepreneurs, but I don't know, that empowered name got fucking bastardized, not by the company, but by a lot of people using that, that word left, right, and center, and they didn't even know what empowerment was all about. But anyways, true empowerment comes from within, guys, not some system. Anyways, this is what it's all about. We had the idea back then any, uh, in, in, in my squad, in my team, shall we say. Okay, this is what it is. And I know all the gurus out there are going towards this model. Why? Because they're teaching me this damn stuff. And I've known it for a million years anyways. You guys ready for this? And this is going to be a bastardized fra phrase that's going to be messed around left, right, and center anyways, but I don't give a shit. I've been calling my team, or my followers, I've been calling them the tribe for many, many years, guys. Now, there's this thing called the new tribe economy, and it's going to be huge and massive in the next wave of stuff. And don't worry, we're going to blast that out to the water anyways. Why? Because there's even a thing ahead of that and we're combining it, but I'll get to that in another video. All I'm saying is you're gonna be hearing the word tribe a hell of a lot more. Now, my Tao Life Tribe, or the Artist of Life Tribe, was birthed, officially birthed, June 21st, 2014. Then, all of a sudden, I've see, I saw, well, it's a law of attraction anyways, I just saw the word tribe being thrown around left, right, and center, especially in the last little bit here. That's okay. So Tao Life Tribe is what I run, or what I am, but it's not even me, it's us, it's an us's, okay? And it's not even a, a definition of an us, meaning you're outside of it and you're inside of it. I think the whole fucking world is tribe, okay? But anyways, what is gonna happen, it's called the, well, it's gonna be coined and I'm gonna probably go grab it as soon as I go home, but it's called the New Tribe Economy, and no longer is it team, no, no longer is it attraction marketing, no longer is it straight up affiliate marketing like in the past, and no longer is it ever gonna be like back to those, let's go to the seminars and join my gig fucking thing in, in like, like offline style marketing, which offline is still good, but like that style is just not good. It's called tribe marketing or tribe, the new tribe economy. And I'll just say it really quickly and I'll get into a video that explains it a heck of a lot more. Okay? So keep in tune with me. Put comments in the comment box below. Hook up with me. I don't know. Hit me on the Twitter machine. It doesn't matter. Okay. What it's all about is, okay, you got company X, you got company Y. You got team Z and team W. Okay? So you got this company and a team. You got this company and a team. Guess what? Tribe is gonna go like this. It doesn't matter what company, I'm gonna fucking say it. It doesn't matter if you're in Power Network, Pure Leverage, whatever, Wukar, and I'm fucking, hey Wukar, I love you. Okay, it doesn't matter what the fuck you are, okay? What company or team you're on. It doesn't matter if you're Solovey, fucking Amway, Sideway, Upway, Sidewise, Download, it doesn't matter what fucking company you are here or what team you are in this company. I think teams and companies are just a bunch of bullshit anyways. They're just vehicles. Good, look at this. Tribe. Team. Team W here and Team X over here go like this. And they work together. It doesn't matter if they're in that company. It doesn't matter if they're in that company. It doesn't matter if they're 
automatic funnel system is this. It doesn't matter if their funded proposal system is that. Guess what? Tribes do this and we become a tribe of people that are living a life of freedom and, a, and that's where the freedom lifestyle still comes into play. So everything we've learned in the past is coming together and it's coming under this new tribe economy. And what that's all about is that we're a tribe of forward thinkers, innovators, amazing, beautiful artists and musician and everyone like that, everyone under one sun. But the thing is, there's a lot of people that are still in the darkness of depression, lower vibrations, nine to five jobs, bills stacked up to here, sh people that hate their freaking job, okay? There's, there's this and then there's tribe. Now, as a tribe, no matter what company, team or whatever you're on, let's just help the people that need the help. And that's all it is, okay? Bring them in. Oh, you like cell phones and da 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 da? Go to that guy's team. You like, you like lotions, potions, and pills? Hey, check it out. Billy and Sam over there got a thing over there. Hey, you like wicked technologies like ubiquitous computing? Join Angelito. Hey, you like uh, whatever? Okay, you see where I'm going at? That way the tribe of new new tribe economy, the people, the forward thinkers, and the way we're really going to be doing from here, stepping forward into the future, I got more futuristic stuff for you, but stepping forward into the future, it's no longer 9 to 5, it's no longer all that stuff that I just explained in this video.